Hello, sports fans, sports better than YouTube Nation. John here with Riga Picks. Hope everybody had a great and happy Thursday. Um, rough day for me. Uh, rough, rough day. Uh, my chart was 0-3, which is very, very unusual. Um, it's it's st still still hitting at just over 70% now, but uh, took took a hit today. Um, it was the Dodgers, the Giants, and the Rays, and all three of those teams uh, failed to perform. No, Dodgers, Indians, and Rays, not the Giants. I had the Giants team total over three and a half. They scored one. Um, that failed. They uh, they did not rock a pitcher they have and should have, but, uh, you know, that's a different thing. It's four and five overall in the day. Uh, just a dismal day in the MLB. Um, had the Reds money line over the Cubs. Uh, Sonny Gray got rocked again. Cubs uh, scored a lot of runs. Um, won the game. Um you know, the Indians, their offense is dead and gone, I think. So, um, going to have to start fading their offense. they got great pitchers. Uh, they do not give up a lot of runs. But uh, today they got rocked. Uh, gave up 11. Uh, but Brady Singer, you know, almost threw a no-hitter. Um, congrats to that kid. He's going to be a great pitcher once he gets uh, gets his feet under him in the MLB. Um, the Royals are kind of rushing their young talent into the pros and just kind of, you know, kind of throwing them into the fire, if you will. But, um you know, sometimes uh, that works out. Uh, they're going to get invaluable experience that uh, they wouldn't normally get um, with the, without the COVID-19. So uh, they take advantage of it and do all the right things. It's going to be a good program down the road for those young kids. But um, just a ugly day. Um, did have a winner this morning early. Got off today. Got off right with the Angels run line. First five win. Braves Nats over ten and a half. Got that. Uh, my NFL football had the Chiefs minus nine. That was an easy winner. And then I had the Seattle Sounders uh, money line over the San Jose Earthquakes. <laughs> Last I looked, that game was six to nothing. I don't know what it finished at, but, um, you know, I, I assume San Jose did not come back and score seven goals and beat them or six goals and tie it. So, um, you know, we're rocking and rolling in other sports. Uh, MLB took a little bit of a hit, but overall it's I'm 32-12 and 12 on the Patreon this month. Um, still rocking it on YouTube uh, for the month of September. Just had one bad day. It's going to happen. We're going to have a bounce back. Uh, I'm not going to bounce back one day. I'm going to bounce back the entire weekend. Uh, got a lot of plays. Got a lot of stuff out there. Um, football. There's a lot of football going on. So I will have plays in the NFL. I'll have plays in college football. Um, no NBA. I have KBO if, if, if I like stuff. I know there's people out there that follow me because of the KBO. If I like KBO picks, I will have them. So, you know, if I don't like them, I, I won't. I'm not going to force anything there. And, uh, you know, I'll I'll have, uh, there's hardly like five or six MLB games I like for tomorrow, but I'm going to chop that down uh, once I dive into them. But for this play, we're going with the Atlanta Braves versus the Washington Nationals. Uh, the Braves come in 25 and 18 on the season. They're going to roll Josh Tomlin out there. Tomlin's 2-2 two two on the season with a 3.77 ERA, uh, 26 strikeouts. Um, coming off one of his better starts this season against the Nationals, uh, gave up one run over six innings last Sunday. Um or, you know, and, uh, you know, he, he, he's just been slotted into the starting rotation for the the uh, Braves a couple weeks ago, so he's he's making the most of his opportunity also. Um, a few of the Nats have pretty good batting averages against them, but if you look at the national side, they come into this 16-25 uh, and 25 on the season. Um, everybody knows they started out terrible last year and then finished strong and ended up winning the World Series. They, they don't have the back half of the season to get going here. It's it's a, it, it was do or die from the gate. And they're kind of they're kind of fading out, but um, they're going to go with Eric Fetty on the mound. Uh, Fetty is one and three on the season with a 5.29 ERA, uh, 12 strikeouts. Uh, got rocked by the Braves in his most recent start. Uh, surrendered three home runs. He uh, struck out only two batters. Uh, it just it, it, it was ugly for him, and it got ugly in a hurry. So, uh, and if you look at the Braves' um, batting lineup, their their batting averages versus Fetty, um, they they like to hit him. They like this guy. So, um, some other stats here: the, the uh, Braves are averaging 5.93 runs per game this uh, season. Obviously, that's uh, numbers a bit skewed when you score 29 in one game. But um, their their batting average against is 250, and the uh, Nationals' batting average against is 273. So. The Braves being a better hitting team than the Nationals to start with, you know, are already have a they have even more of an advantage there. I'm surprised this line's not more than it is. It's uh, hanging around minus 150, 155, 150 
three or four, wherever you look, it, it, it's a little bit different. But um, your official Ricketts Diamond Paw pick for this game is going to be the Atlanta Braves on the run line, first five for a one and a half unit play. Um, I think they're going to get the job done early. I think Tom was going to hold them at bay. Um, I do not trust the Braves bullpen, even though they did they did hold off the Nationals tonight. The Nationals jumped out early, and then the Braves came back and beat them. So um, I don't think the Nationals are going to jump out early. I think they're going to be kept at bay a little bit, and I think the Braves are going to I think the Braves are going to be the ones to jump out early. So I'm taking the Atlanta Braves first five uh, run line for a uh, one and a half unit play, and uh, that's what we're going to roll. If you guys have not already hit that subscribe button, tap the bell, turn your notifications on, you'll get the videos as soon as they drop, and uh, you know. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Give me a big old thumbs up if you appreciate true free daily sports betting advice. You know, let's rock, let's roll, let's have a great weekend. Let's get it all back. Not to worried. Um, you know, bad days are going to happen. You just got to weather the storm and get through them. So, with all that being said, talk to you guys later. Thank you very much for watching this video. And most importantly, good luck with your bets.